in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a new autoresponder campaign using git response now if you're using a different autoresponder service provider the rules are going to be a little different but usually the uh, the terminology is going to be the same so you can just kind of look for similar words um, that will lead you to directions on how to create a new campaign using your particular autoresponder service provider okay so once you're logged in to get response you have the menu up here and what you want to do to create a new campaign is you want to go to campaigns my campaigns and then you want to scroll down to create new campaign or create campaign now when you create a campaign what you're basically doing is establishing a new mailing list and marketers do this for different reasons mainly because they want to target certain markets and they want to create a targeted list of a particular uh, group or niche so that they can market to that group particular products related to that niche okay so once you've cre clicked on create a new campaign you just follow the instructions and then once you filled in the prompts that they ask you for your list will be created and that's it's as simple as that you just click create campaign and then follow the prompts and then your new list will be established once you've established that list you should be able to access it by going to campaigns my campaigns and then see over here I have several lists established that's where that list will appear once you've created it and again it'll be different for every autoresponder service provider uh, but it's basically the same I mean every every company has a different setup but uh, in general it'll be the same type of process 